is going to kill me, Nathan groaned as he bent down to slip on his loafers. His notebooks and papers were skewed all over the kitchen table, and he gathered them as best he could. Glancing once again at the clock, he swore and shoved everything into his bag. Snagging his keys and the bag already in his grip, he was out the door and taking the apartment stairs two at a time. She's so going to murder me. Angie Maxfield was not usually a terrifying person, but if he didn't haul his ass, he was probably going to be the main event at her party. It was bad enough that the CEO of Duncan Enterprises was married to his oldest brother, but now she was also pregnant. Very pregnant. Pregnant, hormonal, and cranky. Hoping to buy himself more time, he called his other brother Gabe as he started the car and threw it noisily into gear. In another interesting twist of his family history, his middle brother had recently married Nathan's ex-girlfriend, Daisy. And while he'd given Gabe his blessing, he was fully prepared to use the situation to his advantage and at least try to save his ass. Nathan, Gabe growled in a warning voice, you're not here and Stephen has noticed. I've left my apartment and it's going to take me 20 minutes to get there. Has Angie noticed that I'm not there? 20 minutes? Nathan, you live 30 minutes away. Nathan hit the accelerator and flew down the road. I'm aware of that, and you haven't answered the question. Angie is currently distracted by Daisy because Stephen forgot to pick up the cake. He's going to try to sneak it in without her noticing. I thought his lack of sleep was supposed to start after the baby was born. You need to make sure that she doesn't realize that I'm late. These days when she's angry, she cries. And I can't see that woman cry again. It terrifies me. Gabe chuckled. <laughs> I know what you mean. But why are you throwing me into the line of fire? You married my ex-girlfriend. Nathan tapped the button on the steering wheel to disconnect the call and gripped the steering wheel tighter. The truth was that he was happy for Gabe and Daisy. Since their marriage, Gabe had been far less uptight and much easier to be around. And while Daisy was still passionate about her causes, she was far less likely to get in an argument with someone over their sloppy recycling methods. Nathan and Daisy were finished long before they actually broke up, so there was no jealousy or hatred between the brothers. But Nathan desperately needed to get to the party before Angie realized that he was late. And he was not above using Gabe, since he was in a corner. Inspiration had struck in the early hours of the morning, and Nathan hadn't gotten much sleep. He'd spent hours sketching on paper and looking at previous designs. It wasn't until he'd gotten up for more coffee that he even realized it was no longer morning. Fearing the wrath of a pregnant Angie Maxfield was hardly irrational. Her hormones were raging. Two days ago, she'd gotten so angry at Stephen that she'd spent an hour crying in Nathan's office. And all Stephen had done was boil her eggs instead of frying them. Angie didn't let it go until lunchtime, when Stephen brought her a ripe mango, neatly cut into chunks, with a side of sticky rice drenched in some sort of coconut sauce. Then she was singing his praises, as if she were Snow White. Nathan eyed his car's speedometer and glanced around the street. Fortunately, there wasn't a police car in sight, and even though he was already going ten miles over the speed limit, he thought about Angie's tears and pushed down even harder on the gas pedal. Stephen and Angie had only recently moved into their new house. For a long time, they lived out of her condo, while Stephen commuted between Duncan Enterprises and Maxfield Construction. But before Angie got pregnant, Stephen had put the finishing touches on the new house. The two-story house was Stephen's vision. A compromise between Angie's humble upbringing and the money she and Stephen now made. It had a large fenced-in backyard, a small pool, and plenty of space. Angie and Stephen were ready for this baby, and however many more would come after that. More kids? Nathan shuddered to think of having to go through this all over again. <laughs>